let's talk about um, <laughs> let's talk about effects that should be done right. Now, uh, one effect that that you see a lot is the is the effect that someone looks like they've pulled off their nail. Okay, so that's what I'm going to recreate for you today in the way that it I feel with the medical perspective it should be recreated. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at. So we our products today are going to be. So we're going to do a dirty hand. You know, you've been out clawing through the mud. You've been you've been in a fight, clawing whatever. You've been in a war zone. Um, dirty dad hound. Some injuries, some scratches, and then I've I've, I've kind of caught my nail and it's pulled off. Okay. I'm not going to have a nail hanging off. Um, not in this case. I'm just going to have the nail completely off. So we are working with Sculpt Gel A and B for speed. Um. Now remember, open one, take out what you need, and then do the other one. Now, because I don't have my all my tools, I'm just using a spoon. Two different spoons. You don't need a lot, by the way. How much? Take away, pack it. Clean that off. Pop your lid back on, and that's your A sorted. Do not mix these lids. As I keep saying to you, all, all of you, if you mix the lid, you will ruin the product because it will start going off. As in, it's an addition cure silicon, it will start curing. B. Now give that a mix. I'm using clear, by the way, and I'm not using the C, which just extends my working time. With this, you've got between five and 10 minute working time. I will speed it up by one minute. Just five and ten minutes, okay? Put my lid back on. Now, next thing we're also going to be, whilst that cures, um, this is a bit of hair gel mixed in with um, ash powder from Meron. Yeah? Then we're going to be using a bit of um, Ben Nye Plains Dust. Yes, <laughs> Alice. Part C makes it more liquid. Part C just makes it more, more, more runny, which means you get more working time. That's all it does. It's essentially an extender. It also makes it a lot more liquid. So if you need to use it more in its liquid form, because at the moment it's kind of a little paste, in its liquid form, it will give you a, lot, a little bit more time. No problem. So where we so yeah, plains dust. And this other one, which is clean dirt from Ben Nye. So there you go. Um, when I was working on my last, um, on um, the last movie I just did, Creatures, just before lockdown, I was working, I was key make artist for Theo Salisbury, who's on the call at the moment, I think, for Exilient. And he created some beautiful, beautiful dirt. Uh, no, I'm not <laughs> no, Theo, I'm not using your dirt recipe. I'm, I'm about to talk about your dirt recipe. And this is partly derived on that. Um, Theo mixed various dirts to create various consistencies of dirt um, and various um, he used various amounts of dirt versus gel to get your gradients of consistencies. Mine's quite a liquidy one um, but I actually got this from Theo so um, that's what I was saying. Fabulous dirt recipe from Theo Salisbury. Um, hair gel and this is um, charcoal dust from Meron. There's my product. Once we're talking about creatures, it was a fabulous movie, wasn't it? It was a fabulous, fabulous movie. Um, Thea, do we know when it's going to come out? I think it's coming out in December, fingers crossed. Now, let's talk about, let's talk some medicine, shall we, people? Nail, nail bed, cuticle. Nail root, nail grows, okay? So the root is here. And it grows that way. So as it grows, it does this. It sort of grows out and that way. If you've ever seen a nail root, I have, and it's quite an interesting thing. It's sort of, it's a very weird looking thing. But anyway, the nail bed um, will we, we'll be hitting cinema screens in Switzerland in December. Lovely. Okay, fabulous. Well, it's a trip to Switzerland for the weekend. Uh, biting. I, well, we will be biting cinema cinema screens as well. I hope. Um, anyway, so. 
one thing when you're doing a nail, a, a torn off nail, think about the nail bit. It isn't the car crash that people make it out to be, okay? It is bloody, it is fleshy, but do not make it out to be this amazing car crash because look at, it's not a big thing, okay? It's not a big thing. I I have a missing toenail um, on, a, on, a, on a small, um, on my big toe, which had to be, cut out uh, before it needed to be amputated and you can see the nail bit it isn't as dramatic as you think all right so just just play it with um as i've always said with effects realistic effects less is more people less is more so what are we going to what tool are we going to use well i'm a bit limited with my tools but i'm going to go back to my trusty this one it's got a little little sort of label there and my kind of this looks like it looks like a, a thing you use for honey okay this is a wax working tool so i get my product now you're going to cover this is my big my big nail that one i want you to cover the nail and We'll talk about the cubicle and we'll talk about hello Saventa. We'll talk about the cuticle in a minute. Hello Saventa. We are doing a torn off nail today. Torn off nail. Okay. I'll do it this way so you can see. So I'm going over the nail. Over the nail. And um, make sure you go into the cute into the cuticle part part, please. Now you don't with this have to wear any barrier cream or anything, it's a nail, it's keratin, it's not going to do anything. Now, go right into the cuticle area, make sure you go into the cuticle, yes? Now, I want you to give it now some texture, but not too much. And I really want you to get into that end of the nail. I really want to see product at the end, okay? So for this, I'm gonna take my little tool, which is this one. We will light in here actually. Oh, right, oh, that's better. What you're trying to do is hide the nail essentially. Now, let's not forget my favorite word, which is edges. It's silicon, so we must make sure those edges are gorgeous. So we get our, our, ourselves a bit of alcohol. And the wipe. Now next week, I'm going to start doing skin conditions. So the first one I will do is acne. Okay. And I'm going to go back to original basics. We're actually going to use latex. Now I can still see a gap of my nail, so that we want that sorting. I'll show you in a minute, I just need to just close this gap. Because I don't want to see a gap on the nail, you see. I hope you're having a, all having a lovely, lovely Friday. I've had a morning off. Okay. I've had the morning of people coming to do things, you know, the electrician came, the plumber came. It's been one of those mornings today, one of those mornings. Now, I hope you're also having a fabulous Pride Month. As you know, we had to cancel, well, not cancel, sorry, we had to reschedule Pride in London. Very much rescheduled to next year, postponed. Uh, but, 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 we have some exciting news. Yes, we do. Oh, my God. I forgot. Hello, Gabriella. I forgot my exciting news. We will be doing my introduction to SFX course live online remote learning. 
uh, the specialist kit, this kit that you see, will be included uh, and will be used to keep at the end of the course. So uh, for more details, Seventy Makeup Academy with a Treasure House of Makeup kit, it'll all be there. Just look at their website. Sorry, you would never employ me to do sales because I'm not a salesperson. Jeff can agree from Seventa, that's not my skill. Now, because we are going, I'm going to go over the cuticle line. Because it's going to be slightly more dramatic, I feel, more dramatic. You must make sure you hide the line of the cuticle if you can, yes? Hide that line, we don't want to see that line. I can still see it a bit down there, but we'll, we'll sort it out, we'll go over. I like my long hair. So I'm doing a kind of 1960s, 50s, 60s quiff going on. I need this sorting though, the back. And I can't do it myself. I cut my husband's hair back. I'm shit at cutting my own. So I thought, you know what? We'll wait. Right. There we go. Website will be updated soon. Well, there we go. Fabulous. Now let's get this dried off. So I'm just going to get my hair dryer plugged in very quickly. Now for those of you... Ah, Gabriella, Gabriella Heath, ladies and gentlemen, fabulous prosthetics and makeup artist. We miss you too, babes. Miss you too. Oh. Right, let's get this dried. Now, for those of you working with Sculpt Gel, heat will dry silicon. Gelatin, cool will dry silicon, cold. Now, as it works, as it dries, you can do some work on it. You can keep sculpting, sculpting the area that you want. Loving the face expressions, I know. I'm feeling a bit face today. I'm feeling like I need to perform. As I'm not doing anything on my face, I'm like, <laughs> I feel like a bit of a, like, like a panto dame whilst the blow dry. But it's, yes, it's my face of concentration, Jeff. I'm concentrating. Shocking, I know. Now look at it and see what you've got going on. Because if it's too high, I've got annoyingly, I've got a hair in mine. <laughs> Can you believe I've got a bloody hair? So let's get rid of the hair. Go on. Um, just have a look at it and see what how it looks. Yes? Just have a look at it. You still see the cuticle there, but we're going to hide that later. How are we looking? Oh, me didn't get in there. Get in there, get in there. That's fine. Right, so this is now dry. Now we go give it a good powder. Okay, give it a good powder. See how we're looking.
Okay. And you can still see the cuticle line. Remember, this is clear gelatin silicon. But as you can see, I've gone. Probably can't see actually. See if you can see. I've gone over. I can still see a bloody hair. Never mind. How annoying. Like I've taken it out. Right. Okay. So your chlorine, chlorine, chlorine nail gets pulled off. So the action is this. The nail goes that way, which means that you're going to get an inflammation at the root there. Okay, so let's do that first. So we are all we're using to color today is my Meron UK Pro, Pro Color Ring Special Effects. Oh, hello. I didn't turn my phone off. Ladies and gentlemen, note for everyone, turn your phone off. I didn't do it. Very bad me, very bad me. Right. I use my little lid as a mixing pa palette, alcohol, and we start with my red. I want to stipple. Now, you get a little brush with a darker, darker, so this maroon color, which is actually a sort of rich red, rich maroon. You're going to start doing some kind of detailing here. Like so. Can you see? Hello, Monster FX Makeup. Hello, we haven't seen you in ages. Fabulous supplier of prosthetics, ready made prosthetics pieces, Monster FX. We're just doing a torn off nail today, my dear. Yes, you can see. So I'm detailing. I'm not just slovering a load of blood on it. I'm hoping for the best. That's not my way, as you well know. So my dark maroon away. And now we do a bit more detail. Busy B, I can't wait to see what you've been busy on. I hope we've got some amazing new pieces coming out. I can't wait to start shooting. I want to order some pieces from Monster FX and start shooting as soon as possible. So excited to start shooting. So, yeah, that's what we're looking like. So that's the basis. We will put some blood on. For those of you that like blood, we will be putting some blood. However, not yet. Interesting, I'm having to, let's see if I can paint this way, shall we? As soon as we get out of this bloody lockdown and I can actually put my hands on someone. <laughs> okay, so this is a torn off nail, the basics. Notice I've used no blood, okay? No blood, only, and no alcohol colors, only grease paint and alcohol colors. Now, 
as you know if you've joined these demos sometimes I use alcohol sometimes I use grease I just wanted to see that you can do both now let me get my clean dirt from Ben Nye Ooh. let's get a little bit of that on my little palette you don't need a lot okay Just dirtying down, a bit of dirty down, a bit of dirty down. You can then obviously do a bit of alcohol, move it about a bit. Hello Kelly, we're just doing a torn off nail today. Torn off lovely nail. Go like this. Bit more dirt. So as I said, this is homemade. I took my inspiration from Theo Salisbury. This is hair gel. This is dirt powder from, um, this is ash from Meron. Now I'm doing a bit of, haha, <laughs> thank you, I am better. I'm doing a bit of Plains Dust by Ben Nye. Gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous loveliness. Make sure you do the sides of your hands. The insides, don't ever forget the insides. Okay, so there's my torn off nail. We can see the fresh. And now what we're gonna do, you can see detail. We're now gonna do, excuse me, my nose is dripping. How very unattractive. We will now do some more colour work on the nail. I love layering colour. I love working with layers of colour because you can really layer it really well. Now remember, this is a torn off nail because I've been scraping through the mud. In fact, I should really have more mud on the on the hands, but for the purpose of this exercise, that's what we're looking at. There's my other nail, as you can see. Yeah. Now we shall now add some gorgeous, gorgeousness of scab blood by Ben Nye. Go. And don't overdo it, people. Don't overdo it. Okay. Because I've done dirt all over it, you're not really going to see the effect. This is more of a big effect if you're looking like that, okay? Probably take some colour away actually. And then we'll have a bit more blood. There we go. And there's no nail there, so it's just sort of being hidden. It's got a little lump of blood there, but there's no nail it's sort of being hidden away, which is what you want. Don't don't forget the underneath, don't forget the sides. Okay. 
And there we are. Okay. Oh, there you go. For my, ooh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm trying to show you both thumbs. There you go. Now, this is the nail that I've been kind of scraping through the mud. Dirty. Very simple. Don't get complicated. Now, if you really want to see what the nail looks like underneath. Yeah, there you go. Just very simple. Don't complicate things. Don't overcomplicate. I don't like the fact that so people put the nail kind of hanging off. Unless you've been, I mean, I've, I've very rarely, once you tear a nail, it tears out. Very, very seldom hangs off. Okay, there you go. If you can see the detail, you can see the, the damage, you can see the inflammation, but that's it. So then we just get a load more dirt and make myself really dirty around to make sure I complete the picture. Let me just clean that off because it's too much. And there we have it. Oop. It's not good, there you go. You can see the damage, inflammation. Okay, so there we go. Torn off nail, very simple effect. Next week we're going to carry on with our beginner series. We will start looking at skin conditions. So I'm going to do acne first. Acne, it looks like you can pop it, so it's going to be moving. We will be using latex for this effect. So we're going back to basics. So um, keep working, keep safe, keep happy, and I will see you next week.